What you're about to see is remarkable, nearly inconceivable even 20 years ago. Brain surgery, but no scalpel, no incision, and no blood. Focused ultrasound is the most powerful sound you will never hear, but it's a sound that someday could save your life. Slow, deep breaths. Don't hold your breath, okay? We're actually reaching deep inside the brain with energy to cause a very significant effect. We want something that's gonna last, you know, for the rest of our life. I've been a neurosurgeon for nearly a quarter century, and I've never seen this. It's kind of amazing. Paul pours me my first cup of coffee every morning because I can have a full cup of coffee if he carries it to the table for me. Thank you for bringing that for me and I'll take it. If I carried it to the table, I would have spots of coffee all the way from the coffee pot to the table. But you gotta think about everything you do. Our story begins with delightful Brenda. 80 years old, filled with an infectious laugh and a desire to do things perfectly, who slowly found her arms and her hands betraying her, shaking without warning, a tremor. Familiar tremors. That is something that has been passed down through generations to my family. Remarkably, Brenda, the oldest of five, has three sisters who also develop the same thing. What is a central tremor? A central tremor is a condition that is usually slowly progressive, and it affects primarily the extremities, but also the head. And it's, it's found in about 10 million Americans. And at least nearly 1% of the world's population with that number rising to roughly 5% in those over 65, with countless suffering enough to need treatment. And now, there's a solution, all without going under the knife. The morning, more than a decade in the making, is finally here. I'm going to give my hair one last brush and it's going to disappear. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. It's called functional neurosurgery, the targeting of precise structures deep in the brain to change them, to restore function, and in this case, to stop a tremor. In a simplistic sense, you can imagine that there's a bunch of abnormal neurons in this one target that are firing away uncontrollably, causing the tremor. Causing the shaking. Right. To accomplish that, surgeons used to perform big operations, electrodes in hand, stimulating certain areas of the brain. By the late 1990s, the same could be done with something known as deep brain stimulation. Neurosurgeon Jeff Elias is the pioneer for treating essential tremors using ultrasound waves. In 2011, he led the clinical trials that proved to be critical for gaining regulatory approval of this scientific procedure in the United States. Elias best equates the procedure in the brain to a cardiac ablation, where abnormal heart rhythms are disrupted by burning or freezing targeted muscles in the heart. Much like a magnifying glass can pinpoint beams of light to one specific point to burn a hole, focused ultrasound technology forces sound wave beams to converge at one point with millimeter precision to raise the temperature and destroy tissue. 10, 15 years ago, most people hadn't heard of deep brain stimulation, but now I think most people have at least heard of it. Is that the sort of evolution we're going to see, do you yeah. think, with focus ultrasound? Yeah. And deep brain stimulation today is, is the gold standard. It's a very good treatment, but focused ultrasound will replace deep brain stimulation, not for all patients, but for a significant portion of the population, in my opinion. If you offer patients to toss a coin, you're either going to have your brain operated on or you're going to have a non-invasive thing. People say no, right? 
I don't, I don't want to be in that part. You don't want the air to hit the brain. No, you, know, you don't want the air to hit the brain. Now, can you touch your chin and reach out like you're touching something in front of you? Brenda felt the same way. And today, she will become one of the 9,000 plus patients to have this procedure done worldwide. With another sister anxiously awaiting the results. Okay, so this is where the machine is actually located. It's the MRI scanner and then this ultrasound machine here, which gives the ultrasound energy at a certain frequency. Brenda is gonna put her head in here. It'll be bathed in fluid that is 65 degrees to keep her head cool, and then the procedure starts. The thing for you is to just slow deep breaths. Don't in order to breath. keep her head steady during the procedure, Brenda will need to have this frame applied. I don't want to see the needle, so I'm going to keep my eyes closed. We won't show them to you. While this is non-invasive, <laughs> it still may be hard for some to watch. Numbing medicine, and then these titanium screws to lock it all into place. You did great. All right, you're all done. <laughs> now, the hour and a half procedure begins. First, the computer takes a selection of CT and MRI images to map the structure of the brain and the specific target. There are three test shots, each one examined afterward from a different angle with thermal imaging. So I want you to start in the middle, spiral out without touching the lines. That's all right, try your best. We got it, water, let's just see you hold this. You don't have to drink it, just hold it. Give you an idea of just where she is before we start the procedure here. So she was asked to draw inside these spirals, draw lines. That's before any kind of treatment. So we'll see what happens. The first official treatment shot takes 11 seconds. So this is perhaps the most critical time now. We just warmed the tissue a little bit, but now we'd like to see with a little bit more heating if we can stop her tremor. And it'll be that fast, you're saying? If, if it works, it would be... We'll see, yeah, it should okay. be. Okay. It might take a couple of treatments, but sometimes one treatment will do it. It's kind of amazing. 10, 11 seconds of energy at the right place, right time, it, could yeah. potentially really could help Yeah, it could, really, it could really change your life. One more thing, let's just see whole this. It's not dance. So this is the first one, again, before the treatment. Now you get an idea of what the second one looks like. Just one 11 second treatment. To kill the cells in this specific spot, increasing the dose means upping the energy output of the ultrasound waves. For Brenda, the first treatment shot was set to 3,000 joules, with the following shots set to 4,500. To give you some context, the energy from a single jewel can light a single watt Christmas string light for a second. And after two more doses. It's looking really good. That's right. Now you're good. Last thing. You see that? I think it's looking really good. Go on the last one, but do one treatment and you're done. Finally. Success. We'll get it over with. How, how does your hand feel? My hand feels fine. Can you can you tell the difference from before? Yes. Look at that. All inside the lines. Nice. Or right, this one. That's pretty impressive for an hour, hour and a half. You pleased? I am doubly pleased. Brenda's procedure lasts under two hours, with most of the time spent mapping and testing out the target. This is done because treatments like this are not without risk. Balance and stability can be impacted long term if the wrong area is targeted or treated excessively. Yeah, it looks it looked really good. It's something Dr. Elias is highly aware of. In all, Brenda needed four 11-second treatment doses, amounting to less than a minute. Oh. 
Today, focused ultrasound technology is deployed globally in various stages, from clinical trials to approved regulatory use, with many applications still in the nascent stages. What about other countries around the world? Is this type of therapy, like what we saw for yeah. Brenda, a possibility, a reality in other countries? Oh, absolutely. In the U.S., there are seven clinical indications that have regulatory approval. Around the world, it's about 35. According to Cassell, everything ranging from reducing cancerous tumors to possibly treating depression is on the table. And when it comes to treating the brain, a specialized organ with a very specific protection known as the blood-brain barrier, Dr. Cassell believes focused ultrasound can change the game. I looked at my hand, and that was the first time I had been able to see my finger still in about 20 years. I think it's definitely a miracle, and I thank the Lord for it. Brenda remains delightful, <laughs> a perfectionist still. But now, with the hands to match the ambition. And see if it's better. Oh, yes. If we were to sit down and talk in 10 years from now, will this become something that everyone sort of understands and knows, focused ultrasound? My belief is that in 10 years, focused ultrasound will be a mainstream therapy that is affecting millions of patients every year around the world. I've got a cross stitch that I did that says, the mighty oak was once a little acorn that held its ground. And that's, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm holding my ground.